Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to be talking about an option that's been in Event Gallery for quite a while, but has recently got some pretty impressive updates. What we're talking about is the live feed feature. I know a lot of you are kind of like, what is this? I've never heard of this. It's often overlooked, but uh, with these new updates, it's pretty powerful. So. Let's jump right into my computer and see how you can use this with your photo booth or your event photography business or just sharing images in general at an event. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up my browser and I have a few images already uploaded and just so we can just turn it on and see what it does just in general. I've made some changes, but we'll kind of undo some of those and update them to see what some of these different options are. So under your settings, we have this option right here, live feeds. And all we have to do is turn it on and what it'll do is take some pretty generic options and apply it that would work for most people, but what was recently added are, is the ability to control adding a background, a uh, background color, a logo, how the duration and transitions go. So we'll go ahead and start from the top. Um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna remove my background and logo. And you can see I have pretty general settings. I'm going to um, save this. And how we would get to the live feed is we're going to click uh, view gallery on client site and it's just like normal but we're going to add slash live to the end and now we should be inside the live feed and what's going to happen it's going to generate those images that are captured and it's going to run through kind of a slideshow you can control some of the duration the background color and uh, one thing that's really important here is at any time, all you have to do is click F11 and it's full screen. And it will take up the full screen. You won't see any of the browser window. So if you're using Event Gallery as a kiosk or in this case, the live feed, remember F11 will hide your browser um, navigation. So what we're gonna do is go into our settings and start making changes. Um, We'll set the background color. And really that's not gonna to be too important because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my own background. So let me grab a folder. I'm gonna just drop this right here. And that's gonna be my background. And also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on a few things and kind of explain how they work and then you kind of pick and choose what you want to add and how you want to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and show a logo. Do the same thing. I'll copy my little logo there and click save. Now, when we go to the live feed, we're gonna to have to refresh. What's important about the live feed is it will auto refresh with new images but you can see now I have this, my, my normal green um, bokeh background and it'll cycle through eight images and then it'll show my logo and then it'll cycle through another eight images. So if I um, don't like that logo in between, I just want it to be more about the pictures, another option I might uh, try is disabling the logo and maybe adding the logo directly to the graphic. So now I have company name and logo and I'm going to drop that right there and you can see this logo is disabled. So we'll go ahead and save those changes. just go ahead and refresh now I can see I have my graphic background and it's just gonna reply uh, replace those images over and over going kind of a cycle and it's gonna still show my logo but instead of being for that uh, that long of a duration it's just in between it cycling through the photos so 
switch back and talk, let's talk about some of the other settings. So right here, I have it set to random. You can have it set to newest first, um, mixed pictures. Uh, you have a few options there. Um, we'll go ahead and switch to newest first because next I'm gonna show you how it actually live updates without having to do this refreshing. And um, we have this, uh, this is kind of interesting. It adds a little bit of a, a design element. Um, it's kind of basic, but we'll go ahead and try that out and you can kind of see how that works. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, the QR code. I have it enabled, but we haven't actually seen it. Um, it's in the bottom right corner. So we'll save this and we'll want to refresh again because we made changes to the settings. And there are those images kind of sliding in from this, uh, the corner but the QR code options right here. And what this allows you to do is take your phone and then scan the QR code and then you can access the same presentation or slideshow or feed from a different device. Um, so that might be an end user. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the way I would use it. And then we'll see it working as a live feed. So we've got newest first, I'm gonna turn this off. I don't need that. I'm gonna go back to my basic one and leave the logo off. These are the settings I've chosen to use. And if you wanna take a screenshot and copy them and then tweak them, that's totally fine. So we're gonna save it. go back to our live feed um, I'm gonna refresh it but one of the things I wanted to show you before that this is because on a second monitor I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work where I'm using core edition to automatically upload images and I'm just copying images from one folder into another you'll see that they go into um, core edition. So if I were using a wireless camera, this is a good way to update images. So I would just be doing that on another monitor. I want to explain how that was working, how these images are updating. So I have my live feed. You can see that image is already updated. Now I am going to Pretend like I'm capturing new images. And Darkroom Core Edition in this case is automatically updating, uploading those images to Event Gallery and it is automatically updating my live feed. Okay, so let's talk about how we can real world use this option. Let's say you're a wedding photographer or you're running a photo booth if you're running darkroom booth, you can automatically upload. Um, if you're, let's say you're shooting with a Wi-Fi camera, you can send to a hot folder and automatically upload using Core Edition. Uh, coming soon, there will be a free utility for Event Gallery that is a hot folder app uh, that will automatically upload. So that means you can be using any software you want. As long as you can save an image to a folder, you can get it to upload to Event Gallery. And Event Gallery has its own options for sharing, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But for this, let's say you had a computer attached to a projector, and you, then you can display the images that were captured or uh, the booth sessions that were captured on a projector or a TV. Or let's say you have a sharing station where people go to to select their images uh, and then email it or um, text it to themselves. Well, you can also have a secondary monitor connected, have two browser windows open and um, be displaying the, the sharing part on one browser and the slideshow or live feed on a secondary browser trying to attract people into the sharing stations. So in that situation, personally, I would go with 
uh, random order. What that's going to do is it's then going to show instead of the latest images. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it because we've made a change. Um, but it'll uh, put together a mix of the images that have been captured throughout the event. So that's just one suggestion I have. One more thing that I want to talk about before we go is uh, 4th of July is just around the corner. Let's go ahead and click F11 so we get our browser navigation back. Um, we have some new 4th of July templates for Darkroom Booth available uh, at darkroomtemplates.com. Uh, we have a, a designer design these for us, and I uh, just wanted to let you know that those are available. Um, you can save a little bit of time to design your templates this weekend and enjoy a little bit more time with your family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.